In this video, you will learn about Panopto's mobile app. This app is available for both iOS and Android and has the same features on both platforms. The app can be used to find and watch videos and record or upload videos to the video library. Additionally, the app can be used to control remote recorders. We will cover this feature in a separate resource. The app can be downloaded and installed from the Google Play Store or the App Store on iOS. Once installed, launch the app on your mobile device. To log in, you'll be prompted to first enter the email address associated with your Panopto account. Once you enter your email address, you'll be directed to the correct Panopto video library to finish logging in. You can also manually enter your library's URL by clicking the three dots icon in the upper right corner. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to the home area of the app. Here, at the top, you will be able to continue watching videos that you've already started. In the home area, you may also see videos that are new on the site that you have access to, as well as videos that are being featured by your organization. You can click on any video to begin watching. You can also use search at the top of the app to search through the video library. Enter your search term and results will be returned for videos that include that term in the title of the video, in words spoken in the video, words shown on screen, or words shown on slides. You can select the main search result for a video to play it from the beginning, or you also have the option to start playing the video at places where the search term appears. These internal search results are all timestamped and show where the word appears. Also, for any video, you can click the three dots icon that appears below the video's thumbnail on the right side to access a couple of additional options. You can copy the link to the video if you need to send that to someone else. And if downloading is available for the video, you can download it to watch offline in the app. At the bottom of the screen, you will see icons that correspond to the app's three main sections, Home, where we are now, My Stuff, and Browse. Next, let's look at My Stuff. In My Stuff, you'll be able to access several sections of videos. First, Shared with Me will show you all the videos that have been shared with you specifically. Next, you can access videos that you've recently watched. Bookmarked videos will appear if you've created any bookmarks while watching videos. Offline videos will appear if you've downloaded any videos to watch offline. Finally, if you have a My Folder in the Panopto library, you'll be able to easily access the video stored there. Next, let's look at Browse. In Browse, you can see all the top-level folders that you have access to in Panopto. Click on a folder to open it. You'll now be able to see all the videos in that folder, and you can see any subfolders at the top of the page. Click on a subfolder name to navigate to that folder. Click on the arrow button in the upper left corner to go back to the parent folder. Next, I will talk about features that are available when viewing a video on mobile. Once the video is opened, it will begin to play. We recommend rotating your device horizontally so you get a full screen view.
click on your screen and select the arrow at the bottom of the viewer. And here you can access the table of contents for the video. You can also access discussion posts, notes, and you can search through the video. And you may also be able to rate the video under the three dots icon on the right. In the player controls, I'll also point out that you can turn on closed captioning if available, and you can also change the speed of the video. Select the arrow key in the upper left corner to exit the video. The last feature I want to share with you is the ability to upload or start recording a video from the app if you have creator access to Panopto. From the lower right corner, select the plus icon. Then choose Upload and Record. Choose the folder where you would like the video to go. Then click the box in the center of the screen. Your phone options will pop up allowing you to choose a video to upload or to open your camera up and record a video to upload. For this example, I will upload a video that I've already recorded. Once you've chosen a video, stay on the screen until the upload is complete. Once the upload says it has started processing, you can resume browsing other areas. Once the video is processed, you will be able to watch it in the app. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit support.panopto.com.